Goodness! This is the 3 liter CSL, the Batmobile! Good evening sir, how are you? Very nice to meet you. Wow! There, this is where the BMW badge is supposed to be. Wow, this is going to be an incredibly long video but I hope you guys like me think it's worth it because the content this time around is so, so different. So we're here at PDL Auto Works in Kayuara, PJ. Uh, just key that in in Google Maps or Waze and it should be able to bring you to the main road over there and then just keep a lookout for that Eurotech signboard. Unfortunately, they don't have their own signboard. And then just drive in and it's all the way in there. So aside from uh, putting on the new spoiler, there are actually a few other things I'd like to do to my car. One of them being the front bonnet. It needs some realigning. So does the rear boot, the front bumper, the rear bumper. All this is because the car was rear-ended twice once in my ownership, once while my mom was driving it and then it hit a concrete wall once. Not my fault, my friend was driving it. So um, because I use insurance claims, you go to these insurance panels, very rush job, uh, they want quick turnover. So everything was just put back together uh, without exactly um, being super detailed about it. The car looks fine, but if you really look at it, this bar section here, is a little crooked it looks very wavy as you can tell from the previous video this is a new bumper but because of the whole situation at the back here the new bumper doesn't exactly sit very well look at how wavy it looks and that's just one thing so as i told you the car has been rear-ended before twice so boot alignment is all off and then you have that gap here which is quite an eyesore look at the gap there a lot of realignment for the front bumper rear bumper rear bonnet front bonnet if you are wondering why didn't i do all this body alignment and all this at the previous body shop well it was because the previous body shop i actually did not ask for a full body respray but it did and it was fine i guess uh but now because the car is a lot cleaner, a lot more flawless in a way, you can say. All the flaws tend to pop up a lot more, obviously. So, as you can see now, all these flaws are here. And this shop has come quite highly recommended by not just people from the industry like Con and whatnot, uh, but also from enthusiasts. Everyone that I've asked seem to point to this shop, so I guess that kind of speaks volumes. And then once we're done with all that body work, Look at what we have here. My new bucket seats. Check out the kind of cars they have here, man. Enthusiast cars. There's an old Porsche 911. Over there is an Alfa Romeo. You have a 300 CE at the back here. All enthusiast cars. And seeing all these cars here, it kind of speaks volumes out because these are the kind of cars that the owners are super anal about and for them to be able to leave it here it tells you something i guess we have a cabriolet e36 could be an m3 not sure so we're here with the owner dinesh look what we're gonna do with our car here with the front you just you notice this okay sometimes over time uh the bumper bracket uh become brittle and they, okay. they break off right, right. 
uh, a lot of them uh, take shortcuts in not buying a proper bracket, which costs you very minimal. Okay. Uh, so in this case, we had to remove the bracket bumper, investigate what had happened to, to it, okay. and then we put back in the particular bracket, okay. pushing back the bumper, adjust it correctly. Okay. So normally, uh, in all our cars that we do for painting, you know, right. we always do that first before uh, moving on to paint the bigger car. A lot of times, people um, go for something which is cheap and fast. Okay. Yeah. There are very few people who actually want proper detail to be done correctly to pro uh, to follow the actual uh, processes. Processes. Of, okay. Of, of uh, repainting. Or the repainting right way of doing it, lah. You know. Hmm. So we focus on that particular market. We don't okay. take shortcuts. We don't try to do it cheap. Uh, you know, if, if someone who loves detail, right? Okay. Uh, then you, you know, this is the place for us to to, to work on. Okay. okay. This year. Yeah. Probably the most work, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Among this, all. This car been re-ended before. Re-ended twice. twice. Okay. Yeah, both not my fault. <laughs> was it? Uh, was it um, uh, do you send it to a proper repairer or did you? Um. Claim? So basically, I sent it to this body shop that does claims, mm -hmm. but uh, I didn't know it will turn out this way, lah, because it has come quite highly recommended amongst my other friends, but somehow when I sent there. The workmanship just wasn't as good as expected lah. So here I am. What are we gonna do here though? Okay, which is quite normal in the in the film industry. Yeah. yeah. Most of the workshops out there they uh, basically uh, they want to churn out cars fast to maximize the profit margin. Fair enough. So uh, panel beating is not done in a correct manner, reason being is because that um, panel beating. Panel beating. Okay. Yeah, okay. Like this like a frame, right? Okay, it has to be done correctly. Right. It's being being done in a very curved manner, not as a straight panel, huh? Right. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge to do because you spend a lot more time doing it. Right. Right. Uh, so what these guys they do is that they normally just hit it to averagely 80%, 70%. Okay. And then they put a thick layer of um, putty into it. Right. A so thick layer of putty, cement. Cement. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Cement also there are many variant grades for the higher end ones like you know international brands like 3M which I also use. Okay. Okay, they cost like about 160 ringgit per 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 kg, right? Okay. Too much cement, is it the cost for these type of cracks? Yes. yes. The reason why people put a lot of party is because is they want to save time. Okay. Know? They want to minimize their work time spent on the car. Uh, and that's what happens, right? So but if you put a lot of party onto a surface, uh, a soft party, over time it's gonna crack like this. Right. Just like some people who use very heavy makeup, okay, after a while it starts to flick and crack, you know? So I yeah. think we've seen some of that. Yeah. So let's see here, if you look at this, this thing was not done correctly, not only that this thing has been done correctly, uh, you look at the lights, okay, it's not sitting in place. Properly. Right, okay. So what, what happens like this is when we have rain, all yeah. over, uh, it happens that water will start to seep in and then you're able to find some rust inside, okay? And that brings us to... Yeah, here. Yeah. Okay, you look at this, it will not... Yeah, close. when in fact it's supposed to, right? Yeah, supposed to close easily. Um, everything has to be done correctly yeah. you know, before we even do a spraying job. Right? Okay. So coming back again to uh, the adjustment of the cycle lights to sit properly, sometimes they don't um, have the gasket because it's already worn out. Right. Technically speaking, you can just buy nice sponge materials to put right. it in place and put it back and make your own gasket. Okay. If we don't do that, right. what's going to happen is water is going to seep in like this. See here? Okay, come out through here. You see this water seepage? Right. And look here, this is what happens. Yeah. And this guys, this is what has happened to my spare tire well. What you see here, the entire area that is red is basically, was basically all rust. Uh, I went in myself, some DIY and figured I might as well leave it to the professionals. <laughs> I will try to scrape up the spider area right. to show you how much of party there is in the spider car. Okay. So just give us a couple okay. of Normally for cars that have been to a um, if you have panel beating, yep. okay, you cannot get 100%. You probably okay. can get about 90%, you know, okay. so. You still have a bit of rim, uh, wrinkles over, uh, dimples over mm. the surface. Right. So we use the particular 3M putty in order for us to hold it in place right. and maintain that for a very, very long time. Okay. We also do that for classic cars, for example, like this. Okay, classic cars, over time, body warps, okay. 
you also same thing you try to use very minimum putty to in uh to maintain the, the flatness of the biker surface right right so we normally use 3m putty for for it or any okay. other higher grades you know sounds like a lot of work the last time the car went through the body shop to put on the new bumpers and the coat of paint that was just the tip of the iceberg uh i figured for these kind of more specialized work i'd leave it to that guy because he himself is actually a BMW enthusiast. He's got all sorts of different generations of 3 Series. So I figured, I mean, if the guy himself has so many of these BMWs, especially so many E36s, like my car, best leave it to the guy. He probably knows the car best. So that's the other thing we're going to put in my car. These lovely SS Cuts bucket seats that you've seen me buy the previous video. Now they're gonna go in to replace the original seats. Oh god! After a particle crash, uh, normally a proper method is just to put the galvanized coating has gone. So most most like uh, the correct way is basically just to use a uh, uh, anti rust material, okay. okay, and to get it uh, sprayed onto it bare metal. Then we'll be able to hold up. You see, like this, it's already started to rust. Yeah. Okay. You see how much how thick the party is. It's actually a little heartbreaking to watch, but so you can see here how much thick party there is in, right? Right, and then no correct work has been done. Right, the rust has begun to accumulate already. Right, right. Right, so coming to these seats, as you can see, this is to recline the seat, this is to raise it up and down, this is to move it up and uh, back and forth. Yeah, so this feature, moving the seat up and down, will be gone for good. But uh, I guess with me sitting in it, while they're bolting the seat on, they will be able to adjust the ideal uh, sitting position for me. But the sad part is it will be bolted dead. It won't be adjustable. It can still move back and forth, Yes. Right? You can still move back and forth, but you just won't be able to go up and down. And obviously, you can still uh, recline. No. So, that's all. The work that I'm gonna do to my car, that's all. <laughs> uh, we'll see you in a few days and uh, check out the results. <laughs>